Hi, this is George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to find the equation of a line given another line that's either parallel or perpendicular to it. We're going to be using the slope-intercept form to help us do that. Here's the first example. Find the equation of a line that is parallel to x plus 7y equals 4 and passes through the point 7, 9. The first thing we need to do is find the slope of the line that we were given. Since it's not in y equals mx plus b form, we're going to go ahead and solve that equation for y. Subtract x from both sides, divide both sides by 7, and we find that the slope is negative 1 7th. m times x plus b. Now in this problem, the y-intercept 4 7 is not important to us. We needed the slope. Now we know that the slope of parallel lines are the same, so the slope of the line we're looking for also has a slope of negative 1 7. We're going to use the y equals mx plus b form, substituting negative 1 7 for m, 7 for x, and 9 for y. Insert negative 1 7 in place of the slope. Now we'll put in 9 for y and 7 for x. Negative 1 7 times 7 is negative 1. And we finish by adding 1 to both sides. We find that b is equal to 10. Recall that we need to take that value back up to the original equation, substitute it for b, and we find the equation of our line is y equals negative 1 7 x plus 10. Now we'll find the equation of a line that's perpendicular to y equals negative 9x plus 5 and passes through the point 3, 9. This equation is in slope-intercept form, and so we know that negative 9 is the slope of that line. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals. Changing the sign to a positive the reciprocal is 1 9th, so the slope of a perpendicular not line will be 1 9th. Now we are going to find the equation of a line that has a slope of 1 9th passing through the point 3 9. Begin with y equals mx plus b, substitute 1 9th for m. Now we're going to put in 3 for x and 9 for y into that equation. 1 9th times 3 is 1 3rd. So to solve this equation for b, we need to subtract 1 3rd from both sides. And 9 minus 1 3rd, after you get a common denominator, is 26 thirds. Okay. That value goes back in for b. And it'll be y equals 1 9th x plus this value of b, 26 thirds. Okay, here's an example from my math lab. We're looking for the slope-intercept form of the equation of a line that's parallel to the line that's graphed and passes through the point that's plotted on the graph. Okay, taking a look at the graph. I notice that this point is at the coordinates 3 for x, negative 2 for y. And I need to find the slope of this line. Let's put a mark at the x-intercept and the y-intercept. The coordinates of those points, negative 6, 0, and 0, 6. I can measure out the rise and the run. This graph moves up 6 units as it moves 6 units to the right. So the rise is 6 and the run is 6. The slope, rise over run, then would be 6 over 6 or 1. So I need to find the equation of a line whose slope is 1 that passes through the point negative 3, negative 2. I'm going to substitute 1 for, for m, negative 3 for x, and negative 2 for y. First, 1 for the slope. Substitute the x and y coordinates. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. To solve this equation for b, I add 3 to both sides, and I find that b equals 1. 
I need to take this value back and insert it for the original b in the equation. y equals 1x plus 1 or simply x plus 1. Let's go ahead and try a similar problem, except this time I want the line to be perpendicular to the graph line and pass through the point that's shown. The coordinates of this point are uh, 5, 2. And to find the slope, I notice that there's a point, sorry about that, there's a point at 0, 1. And the intercept isn't so clear on the x-axis but I noticed that it goes through the point 1, 4. The rise is 3, the run is 1. So the slope of this line is going to be rise over run, 3 over 1, or 3. But I want the perpendicular slope. So I need to find the negative reciprocal of this, which would be negative one-third. So let's find the, the equation of a line whose slope is negative one-third that passes through the point 5, 2. Begin by inserting negative one-third for m in the slope-intercept form. Now I'll substitute 5 for x and 2 for y. Negative one-third times five is negative five-thirds. To solve this equation, I need to add five-thirds to both sides of the equation, which will give me this. To add two plus five-thirds, you want to treat the two as if it's two over one. The common denominator is three, so I'm going to multiply numerator and denominator by three. That gives me six over three plus five over three, or eleven-thirds. Taking this value back to the original equation, the equation of the line is y equals negative one-third x plus eleven-thirds. I hope this helps you to find equations of lines given a parallel or perpendicular line and a point on that line. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to visit the contact page at my website, georgewoodbury.com. Thanks and good luck.